So during the middle of the night, I woke up to go to the bathroom. And I was coming back to bed. I apparently scared my husband. Because he goes, ah! Oh my god! I don't remember exactly what he said. He's like, I thought, I thought Trixie was you. Trixie's our silky terrier. One, I don't cuddle, so I stay on my side of the bed. Um, but two, he goes, you need to walk more softly. And I'm like, I just woke up. Now I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I just I need to walk more softly. Bitch, please. Anyways. Mask Monday. Water mask. Hydrating. Vegan. Coconut and rose water. Eucalyptus is the material. It doesn't smell too terrible, so that's why I chose it. That way I can get rid of it. Don't like rose. Yes, hello, Gannick. This is what it looks like. So this is what we're putting on today because it's Monday. You know what that means. Mess Monday. All right, and after this, I am going to shower because I got to go to work. E. These are always so crazy. I can't get it apart. That's why, because it was on the other side. Oh my god, it's dripping. It's dripping. Mm, maybe I don't like the smell. Now that I have it actually on my face. But, oh, oh god, it's so cold. <laughs> I just woke up. Oh, that is so cold. Okay. So I had thought about doing new makeup nonsense bingo, but again, I just didn't have time to record it yesterday and didn't want to like go through that like this morning and go to work, even though I go to work much later now. Um, so my plan for next week, my plan for next week is to have new makeup nonsense bingo. Now, I could just do it on another day. I could continue doing like this mask Monday and then I can do new makeup nonsense mango just on another day, on a different day, even though everyone else does it on Mondays. I can do it literally any day. Um, it's kind of funny. I've also thought about like taking this idea and like applying it to watching wrestling shows, which is uh, kind of funny. I don't know if it would work very well, but you know, there's a lot of, just like with makeup, there's a lot of tropes with the wrestling shows. Um, I think the problem with that is I don't really keep up with all the wrestling shows all around, so I don't know how that would work out. Oh my god, I think I have a zit on my lip. Motherfucker, I had one down here, I have one here, and I think it's from the mask I've been wearing. I got one there. Anyways. Anyways, so yes, I, <laughs> I had kind of a full weekend. I went to Rocky Horror. Notre Dame. My, my cast helped me, Mommy, performed at Notre Dame. And then, not last night, the night before last night. Saturday night. Yes. Saturday I went to Warrior Wrestling Sweet 16. Oh! 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 And that's uh, held at a Catholic high school <laughs> gymnasium about eight miles away from us. So, and that's always a good one. Um, we didn't see a lot of our regular wrestlers there, though, because a lot of them actually who are in AEW now would be in Warrior Wrestling. Uh, actually, Thunder Rosa owns the women's championship right now for Warrior Wrestling. She wasn't there, because I'm assuming because she was at AEW Dynamite, because Dynamite happened on a special Saturday, uh, because of whatever. So, and actually we didn't see a lot of our regular audience members either. That was weird. I, we didn't look to see, but we were wondering if maybe there's another show going on. Because uh, we only saw like one, there's one kid, and I forget his name, I feel so bad. Because he he's the kid that offered to drive us to Warrior Wrestling in 2019 when my car got totaled at a different wrestling show that we were both at. So I saw that kid, and I think we saw two other dudes that were at like the little itty bitty show in Illinois uh, at the Thornton distillery uh, a couple weeks ago we saw those two guys like across the way though 
And of course, my friend Christine, Shining Polaris, I will link her down below. That was really awesome. I got to sit next to her, finally got to hang out at a wrestling show. We've been to a few shows now where we've been there together, but we haven't seen each other or talked to each other. I know Christine because uh, I originally met her, I forget which, I forget which NWI Comic Con it was. I think it's the one where I was dressed up in my Ghostbusters 2016 gear. She, I don't remember who she was dressed up as, but I believe she won first place for adults. Um, I won a judge's choice because I made my own proton pack and everything. It's very cool. Uh, I made my proton pack out of junk. Now I wish I was into videos back then because I would have had a video up on it, but I took photos at least of my progress. So, they, you know, but that was cool. So that's where I originally met her and we fronted each other and I don't remember how I found out she got, she liked wrestling, but so it's... I've been into wrestling a few years now, so it's been a few years since we've, we've known each other's been into wrestling. Um, she does have a channel, and she does uh, she does talk about wrestling on her channel, too. So like I said, I'll link her down below. If you like wrestling, you should watch her. Um, 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 from Umbridge. I hate these types of masks, because they always feel like they're slipping down. Yeah, so going along with the theme. Um, ugh. I don't know if you're new here, but if you are new here, <laughs> I post every single day. Um, I am doing an experiment. I am posting every single day until my birthday next year, which is when I turn 40. So it's kind of like, this is kind of like a, my road to 40. I, uh, yeah, it's been, oh, fix the boobs. It's been something. It's been something. I don't post literally every single day. It's, you know, I have done some videos prepped videos like you don't know you might not know when a video was was recorded and then I post it up a few weeks later that hasn't really happened but it's happened once or twice um, I'm usually doing a day in advance or several days in advance like when I'm going to work today I'll probably record a few videos so that I can post them up later on the channel but uh, yes if you have suggestions for me for like themed days like how how I'll, I will continue this mass Monday uh, maybe another day will be new nonsense makeup bingo, and then I can go from there. Now, after February 5th, I'm not saying I'm going to stop uploading. I'm still going to upload, but it won't be every single day. I'm thinking about doing three times a week, three or four times a week, maybe. That would be a much easier schedule to keep up with, because um, this is this is rough. I would I would never tell anyone to do this, unless maybe, unless maybe you didn't have a job. I could see doing this. Um, you don't have a job or you don't work crazy weird hours like I do, you know, go on a train where I'm literally gone and like busy the whole time now. That's another thing. Like this train, there's no downtime. It's just, you are bum, 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 bum. Like it's hard to even take a meal break. Uh, <laughs> not only cause customers coming up, but also you got freaking conductors. Oh my God. This train is so drama filled. I kind of wish I stayed on that train to St. Louis, Kansas City, because all I had to worry about was conductors. Two conductors. Every... each way. On this train, you get several sets of conductors, because of the way the hours work. They can only work so many hours, so boom, 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 boom. So, like, four or five sets of conductors. And then I have my sleeping car attendant, my coach attendant, and then whoever's on the New York side of the train. So on the New York side of the train, we split in Albany, New York. We go to Boston, they go down to New York. I haven't had too many problems, thankfully, with the other crew members, but then I've had problems with, like, when my extra board, no, when my regular sleeping car attendant called off and we had extra board fuel, they were both pretty bad. The second one was very bad. Um, I'm not going to go into it. It was just he was bad, and I looked at him, and I'm like, how did you get hired? And then also... How are you not fired by now? That's how bad he was. And then my my coach tenant, my regular coach tenant, she's had issues with one of the extra board people. And then she's had issues with the conductor just being super shitty to her. And I'm just like, there's so much drama. <laughs> why did I come over here? But I know why I came over here. Because I get the weekends off. So I just got to keep that in my mind. You get weekends off, bitch. Oh, boy kind of drying out right here and that's really annoying all right oh man okay so Rocky Horror so I am performing performing at the Whiting Theater the Whiting Theater I don't know it's in Whiting Indiana on 30th and 31st so that's super exciting 
like I said in a previous video, I'm not playing Frank, which I am sad about, because Frank is my character. That's a character I played for 20 plus years. 21, I guess technically 21 plus years, even though it didn't perform last year at all. Um, retract that. I think I performed once in like February. <laughs> yeah, so that Frank is my character. That's my character. That's I love playing Frank. I love being the center of attention. I am going to be playing Riff Raff, as I mentioned in a previous video, so... The nice thing is I don't really have to get a whole lot of costumes together. I think we're just needing to get something of a vest. It's like a, a low cut white vest is what I need to find. I mean, worst comes to worst, I will fucking sew together a piece of crap and just have it be that. Um, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. I, of course, need to watch the movie. I'm so used to Frank. I don't really watch any of the other characters. But yeah, so I'm going to have to like binge the movie, watch, watch Riff Raff stuff. I don't know what this theater looks like. Hopefully we can get in uh, once, at least once, to do a full run through to practice. I will say it would be kind of nice not having to run around in high heels. <laughs> that actually will, will be a plus. And then the other nice thing is playing Riff Raff. I will only need to play as Eddie. Uh, and then I will have my Iron Man, we call it Iron Man, where you've performed as every single character so that's exciting uh, hopefully Rocky Horror will continue in the area there's actually an IMAX theater in Portage Indiana that was very interested uh, apparently in having the show there however they started renovations so that's kind of what stalled that otherwise I think we would have performed there by now but uh, that's still a prospect apparently I talked to my our I guess he's our cast leader Joe I'd say he's I don't want to say he's the, like a reluctant cast leader, but I think he's like the only person that stepped up because of just everything that's happened, you know. So props to him. I'm going to, well, I've been trying to get information on our cast. It's called NWI Rocky Horror, our cast YouTube. Um, apparently, unfortunately, I think that shit's lost. Back in the day, I was like the social media person for the cast, but when I quit, when my dad died, shit went down, whatever. Not looking to revisit it, but apologies were made. It's all good. I apologize. Other people apologize. I was not, of course, on the right mindset, because, you know, parent died. This was 2015. Anyways, so, unfortunately that shit's lost, so I talked to Joe, and I said, hey, I took a lot of video at that show. Notre Dame. I would love to post it online. It would be great kind of like for advertisements for the Halloween shows. Uh, if if I can't get that information the next few days, like by the time I get home from work, let's put it that way. So that's, that's you know, that's a few days. Uh, I'm going to create a new YouTube account for my Rocky Horror cast, and I'm going to upload all these videos to it. And of course, I will, I will link those here so that you can see them. I don't want to just post them here on my, on my channel because that's something that needs to be advertised and you know, we have a Facebook page but you know not actually everyone's on Facebook nowadays uh, a lot of people are still on YouTube and this mask okay it's not it's not I don't smell rose at all anymore which is good I don't even really smell coconut either it said coconut and rose rose hip I, don't, I just threw it out that's fine so I actually cut my hair <laughs> I saw this this wolf cut thing I don't know. It just came up in my recommended feeds. I accidentally deleted footage before I started recording this video. Whatever. It's not like it's... I didn't do, like, anything dramatic. Like, as you can see, I can still get it in a ponytail. So, like, that's really all that matters. <laughs> Let's show off a little... A, little a, a few little things that I got here. Okay, so I know I mentioned this in a previous video. And I don't know where... Ah, here's the sleeve. Okay, so... As I mentioned before, I will only buy makeup if I really, really want it, and I have to use my tip money. So, a couple weeks ago I was at Ulta, and I saw this Ashley Strong and Morphe collab palette. I had no idea who she was. Uh, I just saw the palette, and then I saw the color story, so palette looks the same as the packaging. I love this color story, I don't know. You know, I always, I always laugh when people say, oh, it's so grungy. It is, though, and I love it. I, <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I bought it. It was $22, so, you know, whatever. Not not that much. And there's definitely colors in here that I don't have. 
Um, apparently it doesn't have that great of reviews. I have seen people say the mattes are amazing, but like the shimmery colors aren't that great. I haven't really used it yet other than the black in my previous video. So I think that's what I'm going to use later today and see how that performs, but I liked it. Um, she apparently won like that James Charles influencer game or something. I don't know, but uh, I do like, they actually reused the Prince packaging. I, I think, I think this is the, this is how the Prince stuff opened up and you know, the Prince stuff, it wasn't received well. I don't care how much you like it. You can like it all you want. I don't think it was very good. I don't think it was very good. I didn't want to buy it because I already had basically those, the pa those same palettes. But um, I like that they reuse the packaging. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use later today. So I can put that away somewhere now. And I'm just a collector of cute soaps. Apparently, I found these. <clears throat> found these at Meyer. Look at how cute this is. Little, little potion soap. I think they were like a dollar fifty each. Look at how cute that is. Oh my god, I love it. I love Halloween. Halloween is my jam. I have always loved Halloween. Um, oh, let me set those down. That way I can clear off my table because I got a lot of stuff on the table here. Halloween's my jam. I love Halloween. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date myself here. When I was young, I went to Catholic school in St. Bede's in Illinois, southwest side of Chicago. If it was a weekday, you went to school in your costume, and as soon as you got out of school, you went trick-or-treating. Keep in mind, I'm under 10 years old. Different times, though. You knew everyone in your freaking neighborhood, like the larger neighborhood. Um, but anyways, if it was a weekend, oh my god, you got up, you put your shit on, and you went trick-or-treating right then. All day. All day. By yourself. With your friends. Whatever. Because everyone knew each other. I would ride my bike all around the southwest side of Chicago with my best friend Teresa or, you know, our other friends by myself. It's amazing what, what a different world we live in now. My mom, my mom and dad would have gotten Child Protective Services called on them nowadays. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. How did I even get into that? I don't fucking know. Let's show off something else that definitely will warrant its own video. I got that pickle palette. This is from, I think, Sugar Drizzle, right? Yeah, Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics. Pickle palette. Super cute. Oh my god. So I ended up seeing, oops, seeing this for sale on Instagram. I don't really go on Instagram. I probably should. I don't know. Is that how companies notice you? I don't fucking know. I'm not good anyways, but it don't matter. So this is super cute. On the front it says, paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dealing with you. Eyeshadow palette. So it's actually, it's pretty good construction. It's pretty weighty for how big it is. So this is only six colors in here but four of them are multi-chromes so I I am going to try these out but I need makeup wipes so that I can wipe my hand off Pardon. okay all right so here we go so I'm gonna start in the upper left and this is I'm just gonna swatch them all and then I will show you. How about that? I had no idea that these were multi-chromes either. I was like, what? That's amazing. So yeah, I definitely need to use this too. And I don't think I've seen too many people actually post videos with this either. I've seen one or two. Okay. I wiped my hand off. Oh, that was weird. There's a bird on my window. It's like, let me in. Fuck off. Why are you on my window? It's weird. Weirdo. Okay. Wiping the fingers off so I can swatch two more. Okay. I'm always afraid of making these videos longer, but you know what? I don't give a shit. If you're gonna watch it, you fucking rule. All right. 
Last two. These are like so smooth feeling. That one's prettiest, I think. So there's two mats and four multi-chromes. There's another pickle palette by someone. I don't remember which cosmetics company. Like, I thought it was cute, but I was like, nah. This one. This one's so nice. Okay. Let me get closer here. All right, look at those colors. It's amazing. All right, starting from this end. So that one is called the Fried Pickles. The dark purple one is Pickle Juice. And this one here, this is Dill Pickles. The that one is Dr. Pickles. That one is In a Pickle. And that last one is Tickle My Pickle. Look at those. They're so pretty. I mean, you can, I think you can see the duochrome duochromeness <laughs> on the camera, like especially this one. This one and this one. They're amazing. Yes. Okay, so let me wipe my hand off. I think those are great swatches too. Go me. Yes. Super pretty, super pretty. So awesome. Glad I got that. Definitely do not have anything like those <clears throat> in my collection. Again, use my tip money. I'm actually thinking about either like making a separate account, like a checking account or something that I could just like toss that money in. And then that way I could have like a separate, uh, separate little card or maybe, maybe like a secure credit card or, or maybe just, can you get a gift card and then reload it with money? Like one of those Visa gift cards? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways. Definitely need to shower. What else can I show off? I got... Uh, I got a bunch of makeup here for a collab that I'm doing. I have a FabFitFun box, but I think that should be like its own little video. I... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of makeup here that I need to put away too that I use for my poster for All Out, for AEW's All Out. I ended up making this big poster with uh, for AEW Heels, which is a, a women's group I'm in. Who It's just like community for women and other people who feel like the wrestling fandom itself is pretty toxic. So it's just a safe place for us to like wrestling because I tell ya, sometimes wrestling fans are pretty gross online. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, anyways, I think that's uh, all I'm going to show you for now. I can't really think of anything else to talk about, and it's been about 24 minutes. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to go shower, probably come back and do my makeup for another video. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, then. Talk to you later. Bye.